and some very harsh words overnight from the Iranian president. He said that the White House is afflicted by mental retardation. He also called these new sanctions against Iran's supreme leader and Iran's foreign minister outrageous and idiotic. Quote, you prove to the world yourselves that you are unreliable and break any agreement and that you do not stick to your signatures. How do you expect us to negotiate with you all over again? Rouhani referring there to the Iran nuclear deal, which President Trump, of course, pulled out of. President Trump, for his part, in the past has said that he's open to cutting a new deal with Iran. But overnight, again, a spokesman for Iran's foreign minister said that what these new sanctions do is permanently close the door to diplomacy with the United States, Sandra. And then we also have this response from the administration this morning, which is coming from National Security Advisor John Bolton, who is in Jerusalem. And while he did not directly respond to some of the more choice words that Rouhani directed at the administration, Bolton did say that he believes the new U.S. sanctions and other pressure will eventually bring Iran to the negotiating table. They'll either get the point, or as the president said, uh, I think very cogently yesterday morning in imposing sanctions on the Supreme Leader, uh, we will simply enhance the maximum pressure campaign further. Uh, it will be, I think, the combination of sanctions and other pressure that does bring Iran to the, to the table. So the big question now is how will these two countries move forward? President Trump says that these new sanctions and his campaign of maximum pressure are not going anywhere. But on the flip side, Iran says, and they see this as an act of war which closes the door to diplomacy, Sandra.